If you want to try to make it seem like there's something more and that growth hormone is causing organ distension, you're a moron because that's not what's happening. Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle rant. Today's topic is just another little bit of insanity in our world. Joe Rogan, along with Daniel Cormier and a bunch of other people, were taking a picture at ringside at a UFC fight. And Joe had a weird posture on him, and his midsection was sticking out a little too much. And people were accusing him of having growth hormone gut. Matter of fact, some people even went as far as to call it Palumboism, named after yours truly, uh, which is interesting because I don't have, uh, I don't, <laughs> I don't have the, the problem anymore. Somehow I made it magically go away. But here's the issue: people will take a picture and they will take it out of context and they will analyze and dissect it to the point of every little minutia that's in the picture and and will look to knock down break this person apart and somehow take a guy who's doing great stuff in society, Joe Rogan's podcast, number one podcast. Joe Rogan got in the best shape of his life, lost all this weight. He was fat before that. His health was terrible. He's doing the best he's ever been. He feels good. He looks good. And they're going to break him down and they got to say, he's got GH gut. That's why he looks so good because he First of all, the guy takes one IU a day of growth hormone, okay? He's only been doing it for a few months. The guy couldn't get GH gut that quickly if he tried, okay? Secondly, he doesn't have GH gut. His ribs are sticking out in the picture, if you see. And the reason why is, number one, he's got his hands around two people, which is pushing his stomach forward. He's got a short torso, and what he's doing is he's sucking his stomach in because he doesn't want his stomach sticking out because he realizes by putting his arms back, it's throwing his body into a weird position. And when he sucks his stomach in, you're seeing him do a vacuum pose. You're basically seeing the top of his rib, or the bottom of his rib cage. That's the answer, okay? <laughs> there's no organ distension. There's no stomach distension. It's the, it's the bottom of his rib cage that you're seeing, okay? He's essentially hitting a vacuum pose with clothes on, all right? And he's in a very awkward position the way he's standing because he's short and he's got his arms stretched out to the side. So I don't know what people are complaining about. To get growth hormone distension, okay, in the midsection, okay, first of all, really what it is it is, is swelling, okay? What is growth hormone distension? It's, it's swelling of the internal organs. And it usually happens in people that eat a tremendous amount of food and who are very, very big, muscularly speaking. You don't see it in small, skinny people. You see it in, in very big, muscular bodybuilders because they're eating enormous amounts of food and they're creating a stretch on those internal organs, the, the, basically the small intestines and the colon. And by doing that, by stretching them with all that food in there that you're eating and all that you know, uh, exertional uh, type stuff you're doing at the gym because you're pushing heavy weights and you're, you're bearing down on those abdominal muscles, it's muscle. The intestinal tract is made of muscle and it grows, okay? Just like any other organ would. And it shrinks when you stop, you know? Um, when I weighed 319 pounds, okay, <laughs> my whole body got big, including my abdominal musculature. And I'm sure from eating 12 times a day, probably my internal organs were, were stretched out too because they were always filled with food. When I lost 100 pounds, and I'm now about 205, I don't have it anymore. It disappeared because the, the muscle atrophy is down. So it's not a permanent situation. He certainly does not have that, okay? He doesn't take enough drugs, number one. He doesn't eat enough food. He is just in an awkward position. Why everyone have to, has to try to find fault with Joe Rogan after the guy turned his whole life around and became healthy, he's eating right, he lost weight. The guy is the best thing to happen to news reporting since the advent of the real news that used to take place back in the 70s and 80s. Now it's fake news, as Donald Trump would say. But Joe Rogan is the real deal. He's authentic. Leave the guy alone. He's a little on the short side. He's got a big rib box. <laughs> and that's all we see right here. So I don't know why everyone's breaking balls. But, but you know what? It's, it's very typical in our industry for people to take down the celebrities 
and people who do great things. We see it all the time. You know, Tyson won how many bouts as, as, as champ, heavyweight champion of the world, and then he fell, right? He, he got knocked out by Buster Douglas. People love, they love it. They love to see people fall, and then they like to see a comeback. And that's, that's just the way we work the world. I don't know why. And we even see it in bodybuilding. Everyone loved when Phil Heath first won the Olympia, and then after he won too many, then we got bored with him, people started finding fault with his physique. So that's just the way it works. That's the, that's the world we live in, you know? And I don't think uh, Joe Rogan really cares. He's laughing all the way to the bank. But I find it humorous that <laughs> they think that he has GH gut. These are coming from people making comments that probably have no idea what it even is, you know, or what causes it. Or, or anything, all they know is they hear steroids, growth hormone, that's what Joe Rogan is having side effects. He's gonna die tomorrow because of that. You know, I, uh, I, I love the world of social media. It, it really, it keeps you very informed, but unfortunately it keeps you very informed about stupid shit that no one even cares about. So that's what we have to deal with in today's day and age. And you gotta take the good with the bad, I guess. But I, I, I just found it humorous. Johnny uh, Bravo, Obviously, he's doing a video on this as well, and he, uh, I gave him a little quote for his video because I, he pointed out to me that people were saying he has palumboism, which I thought was pretty funny because I, I wonder who the people were that even pointed it out and said that. I don't know. They probably someone Googled what was going on with him, and they, they said, oh, it must be that, you know. So, but it's all good. Joe, love you, man. Great podcast. Tell everyone to go F themselves. You're the real deal. The best interview on the planet, man, and you get the best podcast, and that's all that really matters. And you know what? You're in the best shape of your life. So great for you. Kudos. Keep doing a great job. Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle Rant.